Hey, Steelers fans, tensions are high in the air in Pittsburgh, especially with the strong statements Cameron Hayward just made. But first, let's talk about something that's been dominating the headlines. Russell Wilson is battling a calf injury, and more updates just came out about that. Will Justin Fields get a chance to prove himself? Like now to be the first to get the latest Steelers news. The Pittsburgh Steelers are facing a potential dilemma with starting quarterback Russell Wilson as the regular season opener approaches. NFL insiders Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter have reported concerns over Wilson's calf, which he initially injured during training camp. This has sparked debate about whether backup Justin Fields might start against the Atlanta Falcons this Sunday. Chase Daniel, a former NFL quarterback and now an analyst for The Athletic, expressed his concerns regarding Wilson's ability to perform. He emphasized that Wilson's mobility, a critical part of his gameplay, could be severely hampered by the calf injury. He will not be able to move around, Daniel commented, pointing out that such an injury could disrupt Wilson's mechanics and throwing motion. Wilson's recent tenure with the Denver Broncos saw him becoming the most sacked quarterback since 2022, indicating potential vulnerabilities in his play that could be exacerbated by his injury. Daniel drew parallels between Wilson's situation and that of Joe Burrow, who struggled last season with a similar injury, suggesting that playing through such discomfort could diminish Wilson's effectiveness significantly. Moreover, Daniel referenced Aaron Rodgers' recent calf issues that led to a season-ending Achilles tear, raising concerns about the potential risks of playing Wilson too soon. This comparison has fueled further speculation within the NFL community about the link between calf problems and more severe injuries like that experienced by Rodgers. The Steelers, under the guidance of head coach Mike Tomlin, appear cautious aiming to give Wilson time to adjust and recover fully before making any long-term decisions regarding their quarterback strategy. However, the urgency of the situation suggests that sidelining Wilson for the opener and allowing him to heal might be the prudent course of action, especially with the playoffs in mind. As the Steelers prepare for their game in Atlanta, they find themselves as 3.5-point underdogs. The decision on whether to start Wilson or Fields will be crucial not only for this game, but potentially for setting the tone for the Steelers' season. Speaking of great Steelers leaders, Cameron Hayward didn't stay silent when he came to one of the most controversial topics in modern sports. Cameron Hayward of the Pittsburgh Steelers, freshly signed to a contract extension with $29 million in new money, recently expressed his disdain for one particular aspect of modern sports, analytics. During his appearance on the popular show Hot Ones, where celebrities answer questions while eating progressively spicier wings, Hayward was candid about his views. When asked about the role of analytics in football, Hayward didn't mince words. Kids, turn the channel right now. Fuck them analytics. Analytics don't tell the whole story, he declared, clearly unimpressed with the statistical approach to evaluating performance. Both he and the show's host, Sean Evans, shared a laugh over the comment, underscoring Hayward's serious skepticism towards statistical analysis. Hayward's criticism highlights a broader tension within the Steelers organization regarding the use of analytics. The team has often been at odds with analytic perspectives that seem to undermine the achievements of its players, particularly defensive standout T.J. Watt. Analytic assessments by platforms like Pro Football Focus have sometimes failed to reflect Watt's impact on the field, particularly his pass-rushing effectiveness, leading to broader questions about the value and accuracy of such evaluations. This issue came to a head with the 2023 AP Defensive Player of the Year Award. Despite Watt's superior statistical performance, Miles Garrett received the award, a decision influenced by analytic insights that many within the Steelers felt did not reflect the true contributions of their players. The Steelers themselves have been slow to embrace a heavily analytical approach, as highlighted in a 2022 league-wide survey. They received minimal recognition for their use of advanced metrics, with one vote categorizing them as least analytically advanced. This conservative stance reflects a broader organizational philosophy that favors traditional methods over newer, data-driven strategies. Despite the NFL's increasing reliance on analytics, Pittsburgh maintains a commitment to a classic style of football characterized by a strong, physical defense and a straightforward offensive strategy. While some argue that the Steelers could benefit from integrating more analytics, as exemplified by teams like the Los Angeles Chargers under Brandon Staley, Hayward's comments and the team's approach suggest a cautious attitude toward adopting such methods wholesale. 
As the 2024 season approaches, it remains to be seen whether the Steelers' traditionalist approach will prevail, but one thing is clear. Cameron Hayward is not a fan of analytics shaping the narrative of football, preferring that the full context of a player's performance be considered beyond the cold calculations of statistical models. As the Steelers prepare for a season full of uncertainty, one thing is certain. The decisions made in the coming weeks could define the team's future. Will Wilson recover in time? Will Fields get his big break? What do you think? Leave your comments and click on the videos on the final screens to stay up to date with all the latest Steelers news.